Hello and uh, welcome again uh, from me uh, at TU Berlin. We, the TU Berlin, are now next clouders. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for those who uh, saw my talk yesterday. Um, some slides uh, are repeating, um, but this is uh, just uh, um, yeah, uh, um, a smaller one here uh, today. So just a lightning talk. Who is uh, the one who are interested in the whole story? Uh, just watch the movie from yesterday. Um, to make it short, uh, we started evaluating sync and share systems uh, in March uh, 2012 because we wanted to give uh, an alternative to Dropbox and Co. Um, we just uh, learned uh, the reasons uh, why, we, why, why that is a good idea. And we uh, made the rail rollout of OwnCloud 5 for um, yeah, about 40,000 users in May 2013. Um, yeah, this is the uh, architecture uh, of our um, next cloud uh, infrastructure now. Uh, this is um, yeah. Uh, normal uh, big installation with uh, several um, web front ends uh, with a Galera proxy and a Galera cluster and uh, we are using uh, GPFS uh, as a cluster file system at the moment uh, and uh, a five big IP so uh, you can imagine uh, what we had to do for the migration. Um, what was um, what we migrated were 22,000 users. 10% um, of these users are active uh, daily, at least. Um, we have 100 million file cache entries in our database at the moment. Uh, we about uh, 70 terabytes of data, and we have. Uh, 100,000 file changes a day. Uh, yes, and uh, we are hosting 17 other universities and institutes um, yeah, in the framework of the DFN cloud. Um, so it was not just uh, TO Berlin who migrated, but uh, the whole uh, hosted um, instances too. Yeah, our migration went from uh, Apache 2.2.15 to, to, to NGNX uh, 1.10.2. We, we upgraded the PHP versions. We uh, migrated uh, the Shibboleth module from the Apache one to the Nextcloud app, uh, which is uh, yeah uh, really um, better for us to debug and so on. And uh, yeah, we migrated from OnCloud 9.1.0.4 to NextCloud 11.0.3. And one of the results was a, a very lower um, load on our database uh, clusters. Um, on OnCloud 9, uh, we had the loads on the left side here, and uh, two weeks later, with the same users, uh, the same circumstances uh, on Nextcloud 11, we have a uh, much lower um, load uh, on, on, on these uh, databases here. So, my lessons for you, the developers, <laughs> um, after this migration is um, have also have big installations in mind. And that means test the scalability of your code. Um, for example, we have 50,000 uh, LDAP entries. Um, I think it's just possible to test uh, software with 50,000 LDAP entries. You can generate some random uh, stuff in, in, in an open LDAP. Uh, that's not really a problem. But uh, have a look what, happen, what, what, what happens to your app <laughs> when you have this amount of, of, of entries there. And uh, yeah, for example, 
well, try to make larger file cache uh, entries. Uh, yeah, we, we have uh, 100 millions at the moment. Maybe it's a little big for <laughs> testing at home, but uh, yeah, try bigger, uh, bigger amounts of, of data and and uh, um, and test it, testing, test this. Um, yeah, and if you make SQL queries. Um, Think about making them less and cheaper, because as you saw on my last slide, uh, this is really important for uh, big installations. Yeah, and um, another important thing for us, for us who make these big installations, is uh, the possibility of disabling functions. That means uh, we need less dependencies in the, mo in the modules, because um, First of all, we have to integrate this in our infrastructure. Um, and uh, sometimes it's not possible to uh, duplicate uh, some, some services. So we have to disable one part of uh, Nextcloud to integrate it in, in our um, uh, um, infrastructure. Um, yeah. This is possible because it's open source and uh, we have control of the um, of the code. But um, yeah, just make it easier. Um, sometimes it's not permitted by law to uh, enable the one or other features, so uh, it should be possible to switch it off. And uh, yeah, sometimes uh, you want to make combinations between different uh, products and uh, again it is uh, it is uh, important to um, switch on or off the one or other feature that's uh, that 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 are the lessons <laughs> and uh, i thank you for the great code that is uh, already running here and uh, serving so many uh, users here thank you